Well, flames over the opening credits. I'm okay with this. Oh no, Polly Shore, no. We're back in the chopping mall, mall. Although disappointingly, the two movies are not related. This version of the mall has just opened to the public after a nasty land battle with homeowners that ended with Melody's boyfriend, Eric, dying in a suspicious house fire. Hey, there's always money in the banana stand. Oh no, it's Polly Shore. It's no spoiler to reveal that her boyfriend Eric didn't die in that fire, since the subtitle of the movie is Eric's Revenge. In the years since his supposed demise, he's been building a secret James Bond villain lair in the bowels of the mall, working out, and making tapes of his girlfriend, complete with rock soundtrack accompaniment. Great, it's Polly Shore being an idiot. Oh, it's real nice, huh? The owner of the mall is obviously a complete scumbag and 100% responsible for Eric's supposed death, but for some reason the movie tries to build sympathy for him somewhat by making him goofy and by giving him an absolute douchebag of a son. No, nope, absolutely not. You can't borrow my car. No, you already wrecked two this month. But thanks a lot, Dad, okay? You know what? I'm just gonna take Mom's car. You little prick. I'll catch you later, Chief. God damn it! How many times have I... How many times have I told you not to say... <laughs> yeah, Dad. Too many, Dad. Too many. I'm calling security. Come here. Hey! What the hell are you doing in here? I'm looking for a job, Dad. You get the hell out of my mall, and I don't want to see your face until after the opening ceremony. Okay, Dad. Teenagers, you know how they are. Yeah. Chip off the old block. Awesome, it's Polly Shore being an idiot again. Eric soon starts defending his former girlfriend who has come to work at the mall, despite it being the site of her boyfriend's supposed grisly death. When she's attacked in the parking lot, he saves her with a crossbow, and later finishes that guy off by sending a cobra in to bite him in the junk. After that, he manages to kill the owner's idiot son with an escalator. My wife, Morgan Fairchild, as the mayor. Uh oh, looks like she's in on this evil plan. Oh no, Fairchild defenestration. The end of this movie gets pretty crazy with stunts and roundhouse kicks to the face, and explosions all over the place. And of course more of Pauly Shore being an idiot. Despite Shore though, there's fun to be had with Phantom of the Mall. It's sloppy in some places, main characters get killed off and no one ever wonders where they went, for example, but the stunt spectacular at the end really makes up for it. And this filming location is the most explosion-friendly mall I've ever seen. 
I wonder if the place is even still standing. Holy shit. 